neighborhood. All right. <coughs> so it's a seafood night. Ooh. A little hot for me. <laughs> so I got some corn, some sausages, some nice size strump, and of course the all famous crab legs. And I have some seasoning. I'm not gonna really show it because I filled it up to the top. But I see. Amen. Said a little prayer. I normally don't do it on camera, but let's try a little something different. But what is up with y'all? I didn't tell y'all this, but I previously answered. I did like question and answers. It probably was like 15 questions that I did. I posted the question um, video, right? But I deleted it off my phone. Too quick. So, I'm going to try to answer some of the questions while I eat. <clears throat> and I told y'all, like, our season is hot. Um. <clears throat> So one of my questions was, do I want more kids? I would love to have more children, right? I love them. I love being pregnant with Kaysen, but y'all know I'm single and I truly don't really enjoy being with a man. Maybe one day I probably could, but today, tomorrow, no. Nah. Um, so kids is an iffy. But Kaysen really deserves to have a sister. Mm. Oh, brother, it is good. And of course, y'all know I made this myself. Mm. What I want them with Kaysen's dad. It would be ideal to have children. With Kaysen's father, but no. Um, Kaysen's father and I would used to be lovers. Well, we, we was in a relationship a long, long time ago. And when I left my ex-wife, I was just like, I wanted kids. And I didn't want to... Wait until I got in a relationship because I knew I was going to be single because I wasn't ready to date. And who want to meet a girl Monday and Wednesday? The girl tell them tell them that they want a, a baby. So <clears throat> I I told Casey's father and he was like he wanted to do it. Five by five, you know, he would be there for Casey. But. Um, I haven't seen my son father since June the 7th. Yeah. So if I haven't seen him since June the 7th, that means Kaysen hasn't seen him since June the 7th either. And when my son seen him, he came here because he had to extra keys to my house because I'm really forgetful. And sometimes I will lock myself out. So... His father had to extra free, and I was like, bring me the key to my house. I don't want you to have it. So he brought me the key. He knocked on the door. I was looking fish that day. And I opened the door up. I, I, I didn't speak to him. I just walked back to the kitchen. And Kaysen was in the bedroom. And I was like, Kaysen, stay in the bedroom. But when he, when he heard the door open, he was like, Daddy, his father came in here. Then he speak to my son. My son was like, Mom, why my daddy leave? I'm like, I don't know what you're saying. He's like, Mommy, make my daddy come back. I'm like, yes, I can't make him come back. I'm mad that I picked him because we was cool. But his father loved me, or he said he loved me. And he always would want to be with me, but I'm not 
into men like that. So it would be hard for me. Or maybe just because even though I love my son father, I'm not in love with him. So what about more kids with him? Because I ran it off. No. Especially being though as though my son haven't seen him since June. And it's what June, July, August, almost three months. No. Um do I regret having chased him with his father? I want to say a little bit, but I love my son, so no. If I, I could do it again, I most definitely wouldn't pick his father up. And it's not because he's a bad guy, it's just the, the point that. Man, his father was cool, and feelings and stuff get got involved, and I guess he thought that we were going to be together. No. You knew what I wanted more than anything, which was a son, or a daughter, a baby. You gave it to me. That doesn't mean that I want to. My niece asked me the other day, was like, oh, honey, she asked me yesterday. Like, honey, Kason deserves a sister or brother. But she was like, you don't like men. I'm like, I know, right? I have another discussion about my niece and our conversations. So it's like, Trips or vacations in which I want to take with Kaysen. I actually want to take him to Florida. I want to take him to Disney World. I said that it would have been his um, fifth birthday. <clears throat> but I don't know. Like, the world is a little bit crazy right now. He be four in January. So we got to get it a year and a couple of months to get it together. But listen. But anyway. Like, if I get a stamp on my passport, I feel as though my son deserves to get a sticker or a stamp on his passport, too. Only because it's only right. And I'm able to make this video, right? Because Kay ain't here. Kay is still with my sister. He might be calling me saying. Um, the last time I've been intimate, June the 6th. Yeah. Is it a big difference between being with men versus women? With men, uh, some, with me, with being with a man, is less intimate for me. I feel like men rush to, like, they rush through it. I feel like a piece of me when I'm with a man. I know that sound, sound bad, but it does. Um, um, it's Casey getting homeschooled um, this, this fall, or will he be going to regular school? Kaysen is only three, so he will be going to like a head start, but I don't even want him in a head start. I might not have to think about going to work until December. If I'm still eligible for unemployment, and if I'm eligible, I'm going to get it. So if I don't have to go back to, go back to work, Kaysen will stay with me. But if I do have to go to work, I will try to work out some type of agreement with one of my sisters, but I, I think I'm gonna do my niece. Like my sister got case in right now to do a run of how him and my niece will get along. Um, how am I doing with the craving of porn star? Yesterday would have been four, 14 days. But I had messed up and I ended up 
doing five days. The first time I did, the first day I did seven days and then I did five days. And yeah, I ended up buying two boxes of cornstarch and I was like, I'm gonna eat both of these. But then I felt guilty. I ate one and I played with the other one. So hopefully I'm working on this porn star. Um <laughs> so someone said that they love the bond I have with Kason. Um I love the bond that you have with your baby. It's his dad involved and his wife. Not for the last three months. At all. How long was I eating cornstarch? I started eating cornstarch when about I was about twelve. And I'm thirty five now. I might have been ten. I don't know how old I was, but I know I was young. And I started eating great, I mean, eating cornstarch because my mother ate cornstarch. And what a mother's, what parents do, their kids will tend to do too. Do I plan on keeping case in here or do I eventually want to cut it? Well, I don't want to cut case in here because he got a birthmark in front of his head and I hate it. But he got like a, a little bald spot. And it's not a bald spot. It's more so a birthmark. And then he got a sore on his forehead. So I think that the hair helps cover it. So I don't want to Take his head off. But ultimately, it's Kaysen's decision if he wants to take and cut his hair. But I said I would let him to be five. So if we were five years old, I'd be like, Mom, I want to cut my hair. Guess what? All that pretty hair will be gone. Mm. How long have I been natural? I think I've been natural since March. Like I, I literally had micro minis in my head, and I think it was March 2011 when I literally took my micro minis out. And the lady had knotted the bottom of the micro mini. But when I took them out, my hair was locked. Cause I didn't comb my hair, I just washed it, and my hair was literally locked. And I told my ex-wife, I was like, I came downstairs with a towel in my head. I was like, I want you to um, cut my hair. She's like, what? I'm like, I want you to cut my hair. And I've been natural ever since. Um, got to eat where my meat go at. Um, my relationship, my relationship, like, I feel like I've been too single for too long, but my emotions are all over the place. When it comes to you, I allow when someone get, to get close to me. I hope I answered that good enough for you. Um, somebody asked me, was I really married to a female? You think I would lie <laughs> and tell y'all I was really married 
I got married August the 3rd, 2013, at a BFW with about 170 people. My wedding party was 16 people. I don't lie about that. I wish I, I wish I wasn't married, but I love her. Um, last time you told an adult that you loved them, October the third, two thousand and fifteen. Be like, yo, how you know that? It was the day I gave the day last day I had sex with my um, ex wife. How do you remember the last day you had sex with her? Because I left her in March. We didn't see each other again until Pride, which was in June. But we didn't talk to each other. Maybe it may be maybe in June. And then I see her again in September. And she avoided me like the plague. So then um, she emailed me, we got to talking. And you know, because I still love her, I still wanted to be friends with her. So basically we ended up talking for like two months. No, we talked for like a month, maybe two weeks or something like that. And oh. hmm. We met up, and guess what? We went, I think we did Long John Silver, or some place with steak. And I'm just like, why would you take me to somewhere with steak? I'm not a steak person, I'm a seafood person. But then it was time to go, and she was like, can you stay night with me? And my dumb tail was like, sure. We go in the house, and yeah. We go upstairs, one thing led to another, and I remember I cried too after it was over. I was like, we can't never do this again. And I love you. I was like, I love you, but we can't never do this again. She's like, what you mean? I'm like, you don't belong to me anymore. Like, you gave yourself to other women. Possibly men. You don't belong to me. Um, that's how I know the last time I told I that was that Um, how did you know that she was into females? Well, you know how like you watch videos or you see girls in baby suits or boys in baby suits. I would never pay attention to men. I would always pay attention to women. I like the way that their body was shaped. Um, self explanatory, I guess. I'm starting to get full, y'all. Um, something in life you wish you could redo. Um, my sister and I, my sister who passed away, I wish, you know, we would have, could have made up at the beginning of our fight and never, like, not spoke for, like, five years. Was it five years? We didn't speak for three three years. Two years, two and a half. And maybe never marrying my wife. But if I had to choose one, it would most likely be um my sister. What is my dream weight? I would love to be 165. And not lose my titties. Look, I don't like them. Mm. Um, 
Um, are you working out now? I, I do a lot of walking. I keep saying I'm going to wake up and do an exercise on a workout on the TV. Yeah. But then it's stuff that I always got to keep doing. So I never get to it. I'm going to do another seafood see, see ball tomorrow because... I have a lot left over. The nicest thing I ever done. Um, giving money to someone. Like at the grocery store because they didn't have enough money. Um, when I think it was just it might have been Chante. Chante had a baby, and I was me and Ralston was in the waiting room. Me, Ralston, and my mother was in the waiting room. It was this Chinese, Japanese, or Korean guy in the waiting area. Yeah, little baby. The baby just kept crying, kept crying, and I didn't have kids with me. So I ended up asking the man. I'm I'm talking to Russell like Russell. I think I'm about to ask this man and I hold the baby. Cause I don't I feel like babies shouldn't really cry a lot. And the baby the baby kept crying. Oh look, he spit my bed. The baby kept crying. So the guy gave me this baby gave me his baby. And like as soon as the baby got in my arms, the baby stopped crying. So then the baby went to sleep. Then the baby started crying again. Right? So I'm like, can I pick the baby back up again? He was like, yeah, you can pick it up. It might have been a baby boy. And the baby ended up being hungry. So I fed the baby, baby. I think I went. I fed the baby, the baby went back to sleep. So then I went and see my sister. When I came back, my mother had the baby, trying to make the baby stop crying. So I'm like, Mom, give me the baby. As soon as the baby got in my arm, the baby stopped crying. I think that was the nicest thing that I have done. Or with work. <clears throat> I had this lady. I love this lady. Her name was Ken. Her name, well, her name was Kendra. And she had brain cancer. And... I think it was on a it was on a Tuesday. I go to work. Um, I go in there. It was like a Tuesday, on in a, in June or July of like oh seven oh eight. I mean seventeen eighteen. And I go in the room and I see food on the table and I'm looking like why is the food here? Oh, we gonna save it for her to feed her later. There's a whole nother shift. It's about to be dinner time. Don't say this food. But when I realized she wasn't eating the food, I was like, don't feed her. And I was like, you know, she leaving. And, you know, I didn't go into details about her leaving. But, like, how she going to leave? She got four, stage four cancer, right? And, anyway, she ended up. Everybody kept trying to feed her. So she was my person. I'm like, don't don't feed her. So um, later on that night, I went in the room. And I remember telling her, you put up a good fight. But it's time for you to leave. I was just like, can you just do one thing for me? I was like, just don't leave on my chef. I know that sounds real, real bad, but I loved her. So last night, like that night at the end of the shift, because I did a double that night, um, go in, I rub her feet, and I was like, I see you on the other side. 
You see the light? Don't come back. Don't don't turn your back. Um, I went to work the next day, and they were like, "Sam, you gonna be mad?" I'm like, "Why?" They're like, "Cause K gone. She um passed away. I think she passed away like in between eight thirty and eight fifteen, or eight fifteen and eight thirty in the morning." And I'm like, "Ain't it crazy that she didn't leave on my shift?" <laughs> I think. She was one of my hardest deaths. Oh, <laughs> this is what I wanted to tell my son. What are things? What are some things you want to teach your son? Love isn't always taught in in the household, so don't always think that people are going to know exactly how to love you. Um. Good manners, oh, you know, I want him to have good manners. I want him to always say please and thank you. God bless you whenever he hit somebody to sneeze. I want him to know how to learn how to or know how to forgive people. Like, I'm 35 years old and I'm still working on how to forgive people and how to move on. And I know it's hard because I, I was not actually taught that in my household. Um... I want him to always use his words because he got a great he got a great vocabulary. And I want him to have that vocabulary because I want him to always be able to express what he feels, what's going on, and if someone is doing him wrong. Um, I want him to know that it's okay to make mistakes, but to learn from his mistakes. Like Ride the bike. Fall. Okay. Get up. Wipe your knees off. Wipe them off if you believe if you believe. But get up and try again. I want him to know that education for new possibilities. Or any possibilities. You might be cute, but your cute your cuteness is gonna wear off for a while. You ain't gonna always be handsome. And I want you to know that you should love people not because of the way that they look, but for the way that they treat you. Because somebody can be pretty as all outdoors on the outside, but can have the ugliest soul on the end. Can I get an amen? Can I get a amen? All right, I'm going to stop there with the questions. Yo. I'm getting stuck, y'all. I'm getting stuck, y'all. I'm getting stuck. So this was, I bought three, three pounds of snow crab legs, two pounds of I think this, this was golf, wild court shrimp, but it was big shrimp. And you know when you cook shrimp, they always kind of like shrivel up a little bit. Then I'm gonna show y'all this um, sauce I made. But, so it's a lot of onions and stuff inside of it. So it's onions, it's green, no, it's red peppers, and like a whole lot of seasoning. Mm. But, I'm full. So listen, I want to thank you guys if you got to this point of this video. Appreciate y'all. I know y'all looking for porn such videos, but I'm going to really try to probably do 
cornstarch maybe once or twice a month. I ain't going nowhere. But for the better part of me and for my health, I have to cut back on cornstarch. I have to. I have to, I have to, I have to. Like I told y'all, when I did my first seven days of no no eating cornstarch, I went from one, two, I can keep some, I keep wanting to say one. I went from 270 down to 260 in seven days without no, no exercise or nothing. But we're we going to see. Smooches, love you all.